welcome to Admin, our hopefully last itch.io game for a while because I have something very nice planned for Thursday. But of course, before anything like that comes out, we have another one of our lovely itch.io games. This is called Admin. It is a kind of puzzle game where you play as an IT guy who goes around the office and helps people find out their passwords. That's enough of the intro. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Password, one, two, three. I also have my keyboard here at a very weird angle. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Howard, How ugh. Welcome to Howard Phillips Advertising Agency. We're so happy to have a new member in our family, yada yada. <laughs> You're late on the first day, kid. You know that's no good, right? Sorry. I missed the bus this morning. It was... I had a very busy morning. I lost my goldfish. <laughs> you kind of like jumped out the window or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Now listen here. You're a new IT guy. That means your job is to make sure all the tech here is working as it should. Right? Well, guess what, kid? You're in for a ride. Because there isn't a single computer in this office working right now. Are they broken? No, no, that's not it. They're all in good condition. But something real strange happened. Thing is, since the new year, no one seems to remember their passwords anymore, and a locked PC is good for nothing. Damn, we haven't been able to get work done this week. Must have been a real crazy New Year's party if literally every single person forgot their password. Well, must have been. Can't say for sure. I don't remember it. <laughs> but it must have been crazy. <laughs> All I care about is that every computer in this office is unlocked for the end of the day. That's your first job. Oh, and we can't afford to lose any data on these computers. So be careful when you're doing your hacking magic bullshit, alright? Well, actually, it would probably just be easier to try to find each other's passwords. Each person's password. Not really magic, but, you know, I could do a little sprinkle sprinkle on them, you know? Great, then do it. I didn't know I was hiring a psychoanalyst too. Start by unlocking my computer. Okay. <laughs> Crumpled paper. A crumpled piece of paper. Maybe I should unwrap it. Oh, it's the boss profile from a dating app. The picture is obviously photoshopped. Why would someone print their dating profile? Well, let's see. Danny DeRue Jr., 52, Regional Manager at Howard Phillips Advertising Agency. A gentle and caring man looking for my soulmate. Serve for life. Also, my job pays well. Wow, that's incredibly lame. <laughs> Come on, he's trying. It's a sticky note. Pazor question, what is your favorite food plus what is your age? Okay, well we already know that he's 52. So, what is this? Pizza flyer. A flyer from <laughs> Domingo's Pizza. <laughs> the phone number and part of the menu are underlined. Okay, I, I guess you like pizza. So, pizza 52. Welcome, Danny the Boss. Hey, hey, good job, kid. Now you only have a dozen computers or so. Get out there and do your magic. No fooling around. You have until closing hours. Go, go, go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's up, dude? You new here? Yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the new IT guy. I'm here to fix your computers. Cool. So you're here to unlock the computers. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Why do I play with this? Note. There's a sticky note hidden in this plant. Secret, don't read. The password to computer here is a thing my cat loves that you can find in this room. Okay. 
Does he also like pizza? Happy and candy bar is an open soda. It's like a frat house. Uh, there's a guy in the news trying to argue that unions are actually bad for workers. Sure, just like stiff and glue does wonders to your health. <laughs> okay. Um, calendar. Every day says watch cat videos. Hmm. The fish and man. Uh, bathroom, bookshelf, refrigerator. Oh yeah, the office refrigerator. The office refrigerator. The heart and soul of chaos at the workplace. I wouldn't know I've never worked an actual job. There's a funny smell calling- There's a funny smell- I cannot speak today. There's a funny smell coming from this upper cabinet. Beside the dust, there are also some cans, a half-empty wine bottle, a lost remote control, and finally, a curious-looking small sack with a cat's face on it. Let's open it. There's a bunch of weed inside. Hmm. Well, that explains the smell. We got weed up in here, Steve. What's up, bro? Do you know anything about the, uh, the weed in the cabinet? Sir, this is Undercover Boss. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> you found my stash, bro. I can share if you need. But just don't tell on it. Don't, just, but please don't tell anyone. Bag used to contain catnip, so I just traded a herb for the other. Perfect hiding spot, right? You put... You put weed in the catnip bag? That's dangerous for the cat. Yo, that cat's be sniffing that sweet gush, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Weed is a big part of my personality. Not for real, it's fine. Kara got a bunch of catnip in his office already. No one has touched that bag in like a year. But anyway... Really, if you ever really need to chill, come to me. I suppose I password is catnip then. <laughs> Welcome, Howard Philip Brake PC. Yo, dude, you're a tech wizard. Thanks to you, the cat videos are back. Also, if you ever need to search something on the internet, feel free to use this computer. I will do that. Lord. <laughs> oh. Are you the IT guy? I was worried you weren't gonna come. It's me, the IT hero to save your day. Oh no, you sound just like Romeo. Ramiro, not Romeo. Well, my name is Julia. Hi, hey, Julia. I'm the sales representative in this agency. And that guy over there is Ramiro. He's a bit... unique. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I have a bunch of work and I really need to use my computer. Talk to me if you need anything. I got you, Julia. Whoa, whoa. Many photos of Julia and many heart stickers. Hi, Ramiro. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. oh, mere mortal. Struck by such a sight, you stand in shock, thinking your eyes deceive you. But fear not. I guarantee you this beautiful face isn't the one of a demon or incubus. Just a public relations specialist. Ramiro is the name. Okay. Uh, I'm here to unlock your computer. Ramiro. <laughs> Do it quickly, will you? I'm not used to waiting for other people. It's usually the other way around. Okay. Password equals... Equals most loved ones D day. Okay. Two dates are on the calendar. 0117 is Julia's birthday. A lot of hearts here. 128 is your birthday. Okay, so 0117. 0117. Oh, maybe if we do the slash. 01 slash 17. Oh, shit. Dude! My- Okay, it's not that. Hmm. Okay, what is your password? Do you remember anything? I don't exactly remember a few things, but it's a little bit fuzzy. 
My password is a word plus a single number at the end, and there was something pink involved. Okay, pink. There's no books. The pink book. It's Pride and Prejudice. There's a note inside the book. Green book plus lucky number. My birthday, Ramiro's birthday. Oh, 116. Oh, wait. Oh, 16. Okay, well, let's try. Oh, um. No. Okay. Green book. It's Macbeth. And maybe just for Kuz, please don't find a bit too much. Okay, okay. Uh, smiley chart. 16. Uh, Julia, what is your star sign? Please tell it to me. <sighs> There's a book up here. The artist's deduction in 90 of these steps are several bookmarks. Okay. Portrait. His teeth are so white it hurts to look at. So some of you of more than Julia. Oh. Why do you have so many pictures of Julia? I would like to know. Is that not clear enough? Because I love her with every fiber of my body. She's my most precious possession. My guiding light. Julia gives hope and strength to face this cruel existence. Julia is the sun. That's the wrong kind of sun, but... <laughs> you mean the sun? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's that one. <laughs> okay. What if we do his birthday? I won. 28. I... Sexy guy, one, two, three. Okay, cool. <laughs> Finally! You may not have the looks I do, but at least you're pretty clever. Not as much as me, of course, but still pretty clever. Okay, then, what about you? Apparently, she was a cap for... She's a Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn is a seven, so is it. Macbeth, I spelled that wrong. Hey, welcome Juju. Oh, you're my hero. Thanks a lot. Now please get out. I have work to do. You're welcome, Julia. Ah, a new face. Welcome, my boy, to the arts room. My name's Vincent, art director. And that lovely grumpy lady there is Michelle, our illustrator. Nice to meet you, Vincent. I'm here to unlock that computer. Suit yourself, my dear. If you need anything, you can talk to me. And please be fast. Gosh, it's been ages since I had to it's been ages since I had to rely on pen and paper. So primitive. I got you, man. Try to stick it out. What the heck? Password is favorite color and favorite number. Okay, Vincent takes care of some stunning petunias and roses. Painting of a naked man, tea posing. <laughs> Herbs and books. Anatomy studies and... Whoa. Whoa, kinky romance novels. Vincent. Scandalous. Math to... Oh, no. One, eight... Oh, Wait, what was it? No, oh, it's wrong thing. Uh, favorite color and favorite number. Vincent, what is your favorite color? Uh, why is everything pink? Why shouldn't it be such a beautiful color? Okay, his favorite color is pink, apparently. What is his favorite number? Why do you have pictures from Michael Shays? Because the basic principle of our technique is geometry and mathematics. Many artists don't understand that. Michelle and I may disagree on many things, but the reason she's working with me is because she gets that too. People think that's boring, but it's the magic of art. For example, if we draw any regular polygon inside a circle, the sum of digits of the, of the sum of angles 
of that polygon always equal 9. Fascinating, isn't it? Wow. Ah, you get it too. You're smart, dear. So is his favorite number 9? I think. Hey! Mag Mag Magnifico! Magnifico? Magnificent. <laughs> Splendid work, darling. Splendid. If excuse me, I have a real job to resume. Ciao. Perfect. Uh, hello, Michelle. Listen, if you're one of Vincent's little friends, please don't waste more of my time. I'm sick enough of having to share a room with that idiot. I don't need another one of his stupid friends bothering my work, so get out. I'm just the IT guy. I'm here to fix your computer. Oh. I see. Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but sharing a room with that blockhead puts me on defensive. You and Vincent don't get along very well, do you? No, he's a huge moron who thinks he's better than everyone. And he's not even a great artist. I'm much better. But he's good at licking the boots of the directors and clients. Ugh. Makes me sick. Yeah. Do you have any hints on your computer? It's a bunch of scribbles? Okay. Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Nothing on the calendar. This drawing board is probably used by Michelle. She's currently drawing a female face. It's stunningly beautiful. A re a reproduction of a classical painting by a famous artist that features naked women, angels, and a beautiful sunset. Tika. It's black tea. A manga. A Japanese comic book called Copper Square Race. Uh, do you remember anything about your password? Yes, their call is beautiful. I tried inputting beautiful names or other words I like, but to no avail. I also feel like there's something important for me to do on my computer today. Damn it, I can't remember anything else. Sketchbook. Sure. Her drawings are amazing. Most of them are anim anatomically. There we go. Perfect drawings of women, but also a bunch of spiral doodles. Oh, and there's a note here. Had fun last night, left a surprise on your computer, your password is so predictable, five digits of your favorite, of your special number. I see some people getting, okay. <laughs> special number. You mean the golden spiral, where arts has a, art has a lot to do with mathematics, and the golden spiral is, is a geometric representation of perfection. Uh, I'm not familiar with the golden ratio. It's a ratio present in many geom geometrical forms in nature, and since ancient Greek artists and mathematicians speculate that it's the foundation for every perfect structure of beauty. Whoa. Presented by the number of pi, the golden spiral's growth factor is pi, and I use it in my works. By the way, pi is 1.618033. One. 1.6. Oh no. Tell, tell me the tell me the number again. Yeah. One point six one eight oh three three. One point one one point six one. One point that's a two. One point six one eight oh three three. One six one eight oh three. <laughs> okay. Five digits of your special number. Uh, can I take a look at your sketchbook? Whatever. Tell me the number again, please. I need to let me write this down really quick so I don't forget. Okay, uh, six one eight zero oh, three three. Let's do that. Okay, six one. 
8033, and then we're going to also do 161803. Thank you. Yeah. 618033. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I put too many numbers. Okay, wait, wait. 61. Two, three, up, seven, one, six, one, eight, oh, three. No, okay. One, six, one, eight, oh. Hey! I knew I'd get it eventually. Hey, you did it! I knew it was rude when we met, but. Because I don't need to be so defensive after all. Hey, we did it! That was nice. I quite enjoyed that uh, little game there. I like puzzle games, they're really fun for me. I like testing my brain and things like that. Um, that was really nice. And I guess I will see you all another time. Good night. Let's go ahead and run the outro.